What you just witnessed was the opening scene from the movie Contact. For the last century, we've been generating a bubble that's been expanding outwardly at the speed of light. We call this the Earth's radio bubble, or radiosphere. It is a means for an alien civilization within a hundred light year radius to tune in, to jam to our tunes, or to get an idea of pop culture on Earth. What might they think of us? Would they be amused or offended by our movies, music, and musings about them? Would Zayn Malik and Lady Gaga be the faces of the human race? In my talk, I'm going to speculate as to what might happen if and when we encounter alien life that's vastly superior in intelligence to us. Contact might happen in two ways. One, the aliens might announce their existence through radio communication. Or two, they may stop by our skies in their spaceships. Either way, the event will have a profound impact on the psyche of human beings everywhere. This is what aliens have been depicted as in pop culture. Ladies and gentlemen, let me assure you, two arms, two legs, fingers, toes, and noses, Hollywood's based its aliens on its directors. We need to expand our mind's eye because one thing's for certain, intelligent alien life will be nothing like anything we've ever imagined. And the last thing we want to do is greet them with a bewildered face. Check out these bizarre and alien looking creatures that exist right here on planet Earth. These creatures call planet Earth home, just like us. They are carbon based, just like us. They are made of DNA, just like us. They breathe oxygen and need water to survive, just like us. Now let's consider creatures from a different planet altogether. They may not be carbon-based, they may not be made of DNA, but of a different molecule altogether. They may not breathe oxygen, and to them, water may be poison. It's nigh impossible to conceive of what such creatures would look like. Let's move on to consider the cultural, political, and theological implications of an encounter with alien life. As I've already established, contact might happen in two ways. One, the aliens may ring us up on the radio phone, or two, they may drop by. I'm going to be exclusively considering the more exciting option, an actual alien visitation. Many parallels can be drawn between an alien force and the powerful Spanish Armada when they arrived on the shores of South America, guns blazing, with their massive ships, germs, and steel armory. If an alien force was to visit us, that would make their technology far superior to anything we have on Earth. Because in order to get here, they would have to traverse the vast interstellar expanses that separate us from other star systems. Politically, the implications of an encounter with alien life would be that our illusions of grandeur and self-importance would crumble. We would see ourselves for what we truly are, a young species on the shores of a vast ocean of knowledge. We would be forced to unite. Old alliances would become meaningless. The United Nations would take on new meaning. Entirely new offices would have to be instituted at the governmental level. Currently, we have ministers of internal and external affairs. A new portfolio, the Ministry of Cosmic Affairs, we would have to redefine what we mean. How would you negotiate? with a being millions of years more advanced than you. Culturally, the impact would be profound. In the 17th century, Galileo confirmed Copernicus's theory, conclusively proving that we orbit the sun, not the other way around. Conclusively proving that we aren't the center of the universe. The backlash to this idea is proof enough of how deeply it shook us up. Even today, Many of our species hangs on to similarly narcissistic sentiments about our place in the universe. How would our culture be affected by the arrival of a more dominant alien culture? We're so concerned about immigration and dilution of culture. What happens when our cities are flooded by citizens of another planet? 
What of passports and visas and immigration control? Currently, our music is heavily influenced by American pop culture. Rap, rock, jazz, blues, hip, hip hop, soul, country, you name it, America made it. What happens to this culture when a more dominant culture supersedes American influence? Would we embrace it? Would the same wild abandon teenagers in the 1950s embraced rock and roll? Or, or would we shirk away in horror, like the parents of kids who listen to death metal? I imagine our reaction would be somewhere in between. Perhaps we'd evolve some sort of alien human fusion funk? Legally, our thinking would be significantly impacted by an encounter with alien life. We would have to re-evaluate what we mean by human rights and legal personhood. Currently, rights aren't just afforded to humans. Corporations have entirely individual sets of rights and are recognized as individual bodies. A court in Argentina awarded certain human rights to an orangutan. In the movie Avatar, we see sentient beings like the Navi, who aren't human. But who here in this room would deny them human rights? We need to prepare ourselves to expand our notion of human. Long as we're on legal rights, what of our patents and copyright that we guard so zealously? Our technology would be laughably primitive in the face of alien innovation. Scientifically and technologically, we would have much to learn. While we change our toddler's diapers, cosmic alien toddlers could be doing the kinds of equations Stephen Hawking has spent years mastering. What will this do to our ego as a species? What of our sense of self-worth? Will we be able to cope with the realization that on a cosmic scale, we are but simpletons, whose technology is millions of years out of date? Finally, what impact will an alien encounter have on our theological beliefs? All mainstream religions place humans at the centerpiece of creation. How would it impact our thinking if we realize that we are but one species in a universe teeming with life? The possibility that there's life out there is exciting, exhilarating, and simply spine tingling. But I'd like to leave you with an equally arresting thought. What if our universe is completely devoid of life? What if we are well and truly alone? But that's a subject for another TED Talk.